All right, so welcome back. Hoping you guys are all having a fabulous day here today. Hopefully everyone's been having a great time. Uh, today, we got some pretty fun stuff to talk about. Uh, this is basically, like, the way it's titled, or the way it's supposedly showing it to you, it's the uh, Season 4 finale. You know what I mean? It's like the final content for Season 4. That's what they're trying to show. And, again, the devs, just, just make this clear moving forward, so if I ever say this, that's what I mean. When I say content, I mean more so I want to see game modes, uh, LTMs, uh maps and such that's what i mean correct like they, they like for example uh fortnite they do ten thousand ltms correct uh solid gold they do uh, different loot pools they do uh where like floors lava they do like so many things those are, like the things that i remember right um this game they haven't introduced a real ltm uh besides solo which that's a great content it, it was a good one but first off bring them back second good one but you know ltms are cool but they don't do that in this game they consider content what the devs consider content is releasing you anything gotcha anything that's gotcha that's content so skins uh emotes voice lines anything via the gotcha is their content so this is the finale of the season and the content you're getting uh which basically is a bunch of skins a skill kit and it looks like there's some hints towards what they're planning and that's it so let's jump into it like and subscribe helps out a ton let's let's, let's check it out together but yeah sorry for the long intro i wanted to like get that point out there they consider content as uh anything gotcha right yes i consider content a character which is good it's just when they release so much of it where it's like you know you can't really get all the summons because you removed a core system you know that's the issue where players end up quitting for that reason but again i'm hoping that someday they they revamp this game i'm telling you they'll do it i i, I cope uh, but yeah, over here, very standard, uh, le uh, what is it, leaks or uh, scans. It basically says, all for one, brutal uh, character joins the, the battle. The new character added in season four is all for one. In addition to the number of brutal techniques, such as penetrating walls, he is uh, also a unique character who can steal the opponent's personality or quirk and use it um, with his special action. So there's that. Uh, again, showing off gameplay or images uh, of, again, him taking from Endeavor, him using Endeavor's uh, prominence burn, again, shooting over here the alpha, over here with the beta, and then again, over here with the uh, teleportation as the effect is now uh, active. So that's there. Um, again, I'm not reading through these skills here because I've made two videos on 0 for 1 and a video describing his skills, so I don't think you need that. Uh, next up, they give a little bit of a thing here, which is kind of cool. So originally, all for 1 wasn't going to be designed the way he ended up being designed. So there's this, right? Um, or is this not the thing? It's, oh, down here, this is the thing, right? It tells you what Ulfram was, was supposed to be originally, and they ended up changing it, which I want to talk about. That's kind of a cool thing, but um, ignoring this right here, uh, this is what they say as his best team. I love this thing over here uh, because it never actually makes sense, but who knows? Maybe this one makes sense. Um, what is it? First, use all for one's black area to draw the opponents in. Use Endeavor's personal uh, personality technique to aim for uh, big damage. Uh, once you knock down the opponent, use Cementos' quality to create a wall uh, or mocking an attack. Ensure the safety and steal your opponent's quirk. Um, this team has many attacks that can penetrate walls, so it would be a very advantageous thing to use uh, Cementos to seize the battlefield. Wow, not bad. Yeah, because Cementos walls... Wow, that's actually smart. Yeah, so not bad. <laughs> I like it uh but basically the way they're saying it there is they want you to use all for one to snatch them and then endeavor to fry them at the same time but um i don't think that endeavors gamma would work here like per se because you'd rather like throw a lance at them at that point um which gives so much damage because you have two people sitting duck basically yeah you have all for one sitting duck and endeavor as, as a point where he's a sitting duck so they're just both getting targeted but um i like what they're saying it's cool definitely endeavor plus um all for one is a very nasty combo it's very nasty the amount of damage he does very quickly is insanity um that and uh kaminari both are just insane combos so very cool i like this a lot i want to actually maybe try this out <laughs> maybe um this over here we have uh the skins this is the content for the season this is the finale of your season correct you are going to get the the old i don't know how they describe it because it's described as the classic school uh, outfit so it says this new costumes introduced in the second half of season four the uniforms of memories will be available in the second half of season four uh pur costumes include none other than um ochako uh deku bakugo kirishima and more uh when they were in middle school uh and as students there let's aim to conquer and co uh, collect all color variations and auras uh, auras so that's there we have the deku uh, skin over here we have the bakugo skin over here the uraraka skin over here the froppy skin over here and the kirishima skin over here uh, they look very cool but the banners are just abysmal literally uh vomit inducing is what these banners actually are because none of them are anything important for example let me just go this to you i show this to you um it's going to be so with 
Bakugo, they're rerunning garbage, basically, correct? They're rerunning the old sets of costumes, which most players, uh, unless you care for like the winter version of, of Bakugo, that's rerunning finally, but um, it's just reruns, which they could have put like the new skins on this stuff. They didn't want to. They wanted to separate the new skins, obviously, so you pull for those later. And when are the skins rerunning? They're rerunning uh, with Ida. Yeah, Ida on Rada, which is a free character, by the way. Never pull for these free characters now, because every character who's rerunning that's not Endeavor and uh, twice, or twice not yet, but uh, Endeavor Aizawa, they're not worth it because they're everyone else on character ticket so again Ida, don't he's going to be there first with these uh, three skins being uh deku with uraka and froppy those three will be re uh, dropping with with Ida. and then after that at the very end of the season the last banner of the season uh seems to be a kendo raid up oh my god so great uh with uh, kirishima and bakugo so that seems to be what they're doing here um would have been nice to have bakugo skin along with this bakugo skin but or bakugo skill kit with that skin but no um, so yeah, they're rerunning winter version with Bakugo, the skill kit. So there is that. That's their that's their plan. Uh, at the bottom here, hear this. This is actually a pretty cool thing. Uh, what is it? Ultra Rumble plus Ultra Development Secret. All for one special uh, technique was originally or initially developed uh, with the following specifications. If you deal the final blow with a special action, the highest level personality card of the box will be uh, will appear as a result of pursuing all for one's individuality to his kill uh, his kit right uh, and clarity during play the specific uh, specifications were changed to take away the entire technique right so basically they just wanted to take away the highest level thing so whatever the highest level thing is they take that away which would be the most moronic thing ever so thank god they changed that is that what they're actually saying that's terrible <laughs> that's actually terrible the highest level yeah the highest level personality skill yeah, no. So if that was the case, he's a dead character, literally. We just do one kit. Like, is it you can you stock up on three? Or is it like you can literally only take one and have one only? That just is terrible. So I, like, Toga's better. She takes the whole kit. <laughs> like, why would you ever want that? I don't know. But, um, okay. That was why they initially developed it. It's just weird. But it please, like, please keep that keep that character. Never uh, ever talk about that again. Uh, season four is getting even hotter. Here we go. Um... We're going to recommend, so this is like present Mike screaming. We're going to recommend you the best character info and uh, character team for this uh, for this uh, skill kit. Uh, over here, standard stuff over here, nothing too special. Um, what does it say on this text? It says, um, let's see, translation is like getting so cursed today. Like, dude, when you, when you see these translations, I'm telling you, when you, when you do this, it's so cursed. Some of the words just come out so weird. Uh, what is it? Individual skill kit is a set to appear machine gun. We have over here on the right, it says, in Season 4, not only did Shigaraki's uh, skill kit appear, but um, also Bakugo's, which is uh, another skill kit that they planned. Even um, as was it, even by default, it is an active high power or high firepower um, attack, wide range, and this is a uh, first ever introduction of Machine Gun. So, they're basically just saying he's, like, they're trying to say constantly, he's high damage, high movement, high, uh, he's going to have high play. That's the whole point of what they're saying. Uh, I've already read through these things many times, so I don't really need to read through it again. Uh, but basically, his quirks are very cool. Uh, machine gun, it's a wide range attack. It's very nice. It's very uh, damage heavy, I would say. Um, over here, he throws a grenade basically and jumps up. Uh, over here, he just jumps in the air and just completely like diving bomb, dude. Literally, I have no idea how this character was like okayed. He is going to be insane. So that's definitely on the uh, on the front there. But very cool stuff on that um, on that side. Uh, for the last uh, things over here mentioned in this entire thing, uh, we have the team. So the ideal team to run Bakugo with is Full Bullet Deku and Ida. So that's there. Um, that's the, the team they want you to run because we'll find out now. Uh, what they say here is, so this is what they say. Hit and away. Uh, this is a hit and run team. What the fudge? <laughs> hit and run team specializing in skewers. Uh, since uh, ba Bakugo basically can swiftly move behind and uh, jump into the sky, he moves around with the intention of making a surprise attack, along with Ida and Deku. So basically what they're trying to say here is just hit and run. <laughs> Literally, Bakugo's going to be the surprise attack. While he's doing that, Deku jump up, uh, land on them, and then Ida just show up and do whatever you need to do. That's literally what they're saying here. It's the uh, just jump them team, complete jump team. Uh, and Bakugo and, uh, or sorry, um, Ida and Deku, they're just to support Bakugo. When he ever, whenever he lands, they create the movement so that they can uh, keep him uh, covered. You know what I mean? So, very cool stuff there. Um, questionable uh, description of it, the hit and run team. 
Um, here we go with Bakugo's thing. Uh, not only does he deal high damage at a, mo a medium and short uh, range, but he also involves uh, intense vertical movement, making um, making it see fit that he can escape any fight. It is characterized while being behind the enemy uh, with sharpened bombing at close range. Minigun is to uh, hit the opponent and use multiple oppo and hit multiple opponents. I want to confuse the opponent by dealing great damage. Then Bakugo is the character to close the gap and hit them big. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for Bakugo, dude. I don't even know if I'm gonna summon for him, dude. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. I, I don't even know if I have summons for him. Um, I want to save personally for a character like, um, you know, who? Uh, well, we don't know who's next exactly, but whoever shows up next, I'd rather summon for him regardless of who he is. But um, with Bakugo, I don't know if I have the, uh, <laughs> the the funds for this, bro. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, with that, being, again, if the game made decent, uh, like bundles that i could purchase i'll purchase them i'll be okay with purchasing it right i would be it's just everything is so overly priced i do not want to support the game on the front of spending a hundred bucks or even 200 bucks just the max just to get the character one time 200 bucks is crazy uh, the amount of money they want you to spend for that per character is insanity like i'm okay buying a dlc character here and there for games as such from bandai right i've bought i've bought like so many um like hinakami chronicles uh, dlc characters but it's like dude 200 bucks okay i draw the line there <laughs> 100 bucks i still draw the line make it a little cheaper but uh there's no like good bundles to purchase so well i'll see how i how i uh showcase bakugo <laughs> it's gonna be a fun time but that being said take care have fun that's been it from me